Hi everybody, in this uh, quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to perform code review or static analysis for Java applications in order to find any security issue in your code. <clears throat> so, here uh, I prepared a small piece of code, you know, there is only one uh, main function and uh, or main method and uh, we have a uh, print print line uh, method over here with, then we take some input that um, I'm going to tell you wh what does it mean here I, let me uh, remove these comments and then we have a uh, process uh, a command uh, method which belongs to to the process builder class and it allows us basically to perform uh, operating system um, commands and here is the the, the rest of the code and uh, we are going to run this code to show you how it works so everything seems okay and it works fine so we give, give to our program a uh, terminal command for example ls and as you can see it works and it basically execute this terminal command it passed to bash and and we can see the output so now we want to know that is there any problem any security issue with this code of course there is a security issue because everything comes from the input passed to this critical uh, method or we call this function the reason why is if for instance we design a network application or a web application something like that and uh, we just pass through any uh, input that we arrive uh, that that basically we receive from uh, untrusted input anything from any any basically arbitrary input from users we call them source methods you know Th these are the methods basically we get inputs from uh, untrusted environment from external environment so the data could be anything you know it's, it's out of our control therefore if we get such a data you know and we pass that without any sanitization without any control you know checking like that to some critical function like that you know like command then, then we have a vulnerability. In this case, we have RCE or Remote Code Execution or OS Command Injection. It has different name. And uh, I just make it very simple for you. Of course, in real world situation, the, the structure of programs are not that much simple like that. But just for the sake of simplifying the you know this tutorial and make it easy, I just make this code like that. I mean, usually, for instance. If we design a web application or network application, we have multiple classes and packages. We get the input from web forms, for instance, and we pass to, I don't know, multiple classes and finally we reach this point. Or maybe directly. But the, the point here is that, that in this simple code, there is a lack of sanitization. So the input we get here basically pro, uh, uh, propagates uh, within the code and then pass through this one, to this critical function or we call this sync method this, these are the basically technical terms that use in scientific uh, software security so now we have such a program for instance and we want to make sure that is, is it buggy or not so one way is just like that you know just going through the code and analyze that and using our core knowledge and you know decide whether it's vulnerable or not another way uh, and would be using plugins, would uh, basically using um, um, off-the-shelf um, aesthetic analyzer, uh, analyzers or um, things like that, you know, ready softwares. So in the first part now I'm going to basically review a couple of those or actually at least I would like to uh, try the most famous one and see does this uh, uh, aesthetic analyzers help us to find security issues or not. So in order to active, you know, any uh, plugin or something like that, you got to go to uh, preferences, and then there is a plugin here, and then uh, in the plugin you can find which type of things you are looking for. Here, for instance, if you are looking for security bugs or something like that, you can go here or aesthetic analyzers, I guess. Um, yeah. So as you can see, there are so many plugins and other uh, other basic extensions and plugins and tools. You know, some of those are free for checking the code. You know, some of those are like 
um, you know, check a style and this sort of things. But in this particular code, we are looking for security issues, not for styling and other stuff. PMD, I think PMD is one of the famous one and one of the oldest uh, static analyzers for Java or perhaps other languages. But this is more like uh, styling stuff. So we are not looking for that. So I've already installed uh, a couple of things like call graph because I'm going to tell you what, why I use call graph. And uh, also find box. Find box is one of the famous and oldest uh, aesthetic uh, analyzers, uh, aesthetic analyzers tools, and this is open source. And this is actually uh, it has a lot of applications for uh, security analyzers and etc. You know, and uh, and let's see. Okay, how how it works? Can can we use them? You know, there are some other ones like this one or another one, but these are not free. And to be honest, we, I checked them before. The result is almost same. You, you you can find something different, more powerful than find bug here. So now, if you want to check this uh, piece of code by you know off the shelf by this this uh, aesthetic analyzers tools, we right click on the code, we right click on the file, and choose um, analyze. Here is the internal analyze of uh, IntelliJ for the IDE, and uh, here is basically for for fine bytes. So we select the file, or we can say the whole project. Now we run that. So here is the result, and unfortunately, this aesthetic analyzer couldn't find anything. You know and uh, it, it didn't give us any security issue any real bug but we know there is a bug here but the bug is a little bit com complicated i mean it's not a straightforward a styling code a styling bug or this sort of things you know and okay now let's try the internal uh, analyzer inspect code let's see what do we get sonar cube say nothing mm. okay this is the internal one and okay these are just running like why you use this one why you use that try you know for, for this part perhaps try cache performance warnings and let's see what about the bar here a statement with antibody okay as you can see none of these you know is already off the shelf or i don't know commercial um, aesthetic analyzers are not able to find these security issues. For instance, if you attend to any bug bounty uh, contest or anything like that for serious, you know, code analyzers, security purpose analyzers, you got to. It seems you got. You can really count on these uh, uh, tools here. So, but actually, I'm gonna to show you now how you can um, find some some uh, security issues like that by using call graphs. So. If you go over here on the view and see on uh, tool window, two windows, and you click on call graph, I just let the you know default setting and run the code. So here you see a one node, and if you click uh, expand the node over here, so here we can see the call graph. This is a small call graph because you know we have a small piece of code. So here you can see this is the main entrance, and the main basically method here. Here are the bunch of functions that, as I told you, are could be source or sync. What we are looking for sources and syncs if you want to uh, detect any security issue, any real security issue, right? So we have a start wait for. We have read line one of the you know taking input from from users and uh, so and then we go again get input a stream but here in this code we use read line and we have exit app and this, this sort of thing but we have one interesting point which is you know command this is a method belongs to process builder and as I said before it uh, executes uh, you know terminal commands and uh, basically process management uh, command so as you can see here you know in this 
you know so called graph there is a link to main and there is a path basically to command so we have a path from the source to sync and we don't have any sanitization any other you know proxy uh, method here that sanitize this input before sending that here right so that allows us basically to inject any command we want for instance if we have a network source you know a web web form or something like that or a socket you know something like that the reading information reading tcp socket and we pass it to terminal to, to something like that you know to some sync method critical method like this then we have a security issue it, it, it in real world situation of course is not that much easy but this is just for the sake of illustration for the sake of learning so as you can see we found the call graph and we found there is a graph over here but none of these uh, you know um, aesthetic analyzers give us any clue so um, there is another one actually I couldn't find this plugin for there is another famous uh, security uh, basically aesthetic analyzers uh, tool for uh, Java code which is introduced by Facebook I think this is called infer and I couldn't find any plugin for the IntelliJ I don't know whether it exists or not but it would be fun to basically take uh, to basically uh, pass our code to analyze our code via infer and see what infer gives us so I copy that you know I go to this website code board that is basically instrumented by um, by infer and there are some samples over here we can compile the samples you know online samples and run the samples and analyze them via infer you know and this and this uh, website code for io and you know here it seems it's working infer version it's the last version perhaps and give us the issues not the references resource leak and etc you know so it found basically three uh, issues null differences resource the kind of you know low or intermediate type of um, um, security issues right or performance issues and uh, for instance resource leak could be both performance and security issue or null exception handling null differences that could also become that could also consider as a security issue but okay let let check our code and see what what do we get here so i guess i need to remove this package um i'm not sure basically can uh, we can pass any parameter to a scanner here but let's see does it work or not uh, okay sorry i need to change the um, file or class name here so i would change the class name because it should be uh, um, similar with the file name Job. and then, then we compile that okay compile successfully um, I'm not sure we can pass it. yeah also it works here so we, we, we can basically pass that so um, before we scan that let's do some interesting things do a little bit um, dangerous passing some dangerous type of command and see what we get For some reason, it seems it doesn't really pass uh, um, pass this uh, this command properly. But it, it's not important here because we have the code and just we need to analyze that. So we compile again just to make sure everything is fine and analyze that here. See what we get. So it says no issue found, but we know there is already issue here. You know, there is an issue in place. Uh, that we, we we take this input and pass to this, this sync method but as you can see even infer is not able to find this thing so that shows basically for finding real security issues we got to count on our 
uh, experience and our uh, code reviewing um, and basically skills. So let's see if I just you know um, remove that and pass the a, a kind of um, Linux uh, command here. Let's see what do we get. I'm gonna. I'm very interested to see how how is the compiler here. This online compiler. Is there any sandbox information? Is there any security policies? Because you can actually set some security policy in the JVM ecosystem in order to, you know, limit this type of critical uh, functions on the server. Oh yeah, it seems the server is seems to be vulnerable. You know. Bug reporting system and etc. Okay, that's cool. Um, let's see what do we have doing some testing for fun. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Okay, as you can see, the point is Infer is not able to find their security issues. I personally found most of the time and all the time actually using your own knowledge for reviewing code is the best tool basically for finding real security issues. So that was pretty much for today. Thank you for dedicating your time watching this video. Please give it a like if you like this content and subscribe to my channel and write down you know your comments what you like what is the next topic you like to discuss about that and I that basically um, encouraged me to producing more content for you guys. So thank you very much. Bye-bye.